So COVID-19, like many other respiratory viruses, is going to change and adapt over time. That's what viruses do. And they have, you know, basically random mutations that occur. And sometimes these mutations allow that virus to outcompete whatever other virus strains are circulating. And so we saw that initially with the alpha variant known as B117, that really took over in the United States back in, in about March. And now we're seeing that with Delta, that it's so contagious, it's really out competing every other strain that's out there. And that's now the dominant strain that's circulating in the US. We're lucky so far that Delta is still um, susceptible to vaccines and susceptible to treatments, but the next strain might not be. So the vaccine might, might not work work you know, at all or just not nearly as well as it does now. Treatments might not work or you know, the test might not even work. So then you know, we'd really be back at square one where we were early in the pandemic with not having um, really anything that we can do to prevent spread of this, this virus. So the only way that we can really prevent all that from happening is to have a low enough community rate of COVID circulation. Because every time the, the virus is allowed to jump from person to person, that's another opportunity for it to replicate itself and to change and adapt um, and to allow these new variants to emerge. We really need to get our community transmission rate as low as possible to prevent any of these new, potentially more deadly or more consequential variants from emerging.